Cause while you were sleeping, I... I'm Jake. I'm Tom. And we are VIMTV Velocities in Music. Today, we're going to do an album by Fionn Reagan called The End of History. And I might have messed up his first name, but I love his last name, so you just got to go with it. So, <laughs> you know, you got to get into your U.S. history, right, Reagan? Come on. He's the president, guys. If you don't know that, seriously. This album is, first of all, this is Fionn Reagan's debut LP. Something that I think is, uh, something. it came out in 2006. It just shows this burgeoning talent, this just growing, just explosive onto the scene um, kid who essentially has put together um, just a, a folk album titled The End of History. What a good name mm -hmm. for an album that just tackles indie folk, singer-songwriter, and even alt-country and does so in just such a flawless manner. Um, he nails the styles right on the head. I, um, I, I, I couldn't... You, you wouldn't be able to, to tell he's just, this is his first album. I, and that's something that I always look for in a debut album as, some, as a good indicator of whether or not this person has talent. And I think Reagan shows um, such an early mastery that you just have to just kind of go with it. Um, and, and so that's something that for me, and me being a lover of all things folk, mm -hmm. I, I got into this album. It did take a little while though. I put in four or five listens before I really was ready to creep up in the lower 80s, which is where I'm sitting at, to kind of give you a foreshadowing of my score. Um, but, but other than that, um, that's kind of my direction. Tom, I know that you didn't love it quite as much as I no. did, but I know that you have some good reasons that I do agree with. I just didn't observe them quite as much as you. I still I still really do like this album. It's very enjoyable. If you are into that folk scene, like Jake said, mm -hmm. definitely go check this out because I, I believe it was Lewis that recommended mm -hmm. this to us after winning the album Riddles. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I said... Okay, you know, I've never heard of this guy. Right. I love it when people request stuff that I've never heard of right. and make us listen to the new That's things. That's the beauty about the album yeah. riddles. Oh, of course, because this could be anything. It could this, be anything. This time was beyond Reagan. Right. But uh, I think the biggest problem for me, I'll just get it out of the way, is just that, you know, this is a sound that's that's been done before and is constantly being done more and more. And it's like, I, I hate to say it because I love folk music and I mm -hmm. love this sound, but it's like every time I hear about someone else that's doing it, I just... I just, I'm mm -hmm. kind of like, well, oh, okay, you yeah. know. But but what makes up for it here is that this guy really does have really well-written songs. Mm -hmm. And there is some variety um, in the moods. It's not just the same folk mood mm -hmm. over and over again. He gives, He's good at kind of bringing out the, the, the poppier side of things, the more optimistic side um, on some tracks. And then some other tracks having those darker, more ambient right. undertones. And he, he's able to make his vocals match. Mm -hmm. what he does similar to what i said about marissa nadler a while ago right. only he is he is much more real with it mm -hmm. much more grounded and mm -hmm. uh, it well, doesn't have the dream element to it yeah, it's, exactly. it's much more it's it's definitely trying to adhere to the style mm -hmm. there and in in the back half of this album i feel like gets a little bit more personal um i i feel like fiona reagan gets he cares i can hear the emotion in his voice and the lyrics are a little bit darker and more brooding and that's something that i really like especially mm -hmm. in my folk music um and and uh and i feel like those songs came off a little better, but there are tracks on this album where I did feel like, um, you know, track four, Hey Rabbit, track six, Put a Penny in the Slot, where, where I felt like he was kind of just doing the style to do the style. I felt like halfway through the song I could tell that he was just finishing the song because that was what he was supposed to do and he was trying to nail the style. Well, he did accomplish that, however, to me, that that's what adds to that unoriginal sound. And what Tom was talking about with the variety, and I, I think that because he used such a different array of, of of those indie or folk genre related styles, whether it's singer songwriter or alt country or just indie folk in general, um, I, I think that that's what gave him this wiggle room to to provide this variety, to have different uh, moods and songs and, and um, aspects of of how he's approaching these. Because some of these back ones, uh, back tracks, uh, tracks on the back half of this album get a little bit more atmospheric, a little bit mm -hmm. more expansive. You see the guitars coming in, and it even sounds almost like there's some Andrew Bird style violins going on in there. And I love that. That's something I really get get into. Now, I gotta say, Tom, for for male folk vocals, I know we talked about Marissa Nadler's great female mm -hmm. vocals in, in for folk music. I love Fionn Reagan's um, vocals. I think it's an easy one, of, easily one of my highlights on this album. Yeah, it, it, it's just very. There's an endearing quality to yeah. it. And it, it, it there is, and it's almost like a mix of like Ben Gibbard and Colin Malloy. I can um, see that. Which which Ben Gibbard's 
needs some edge to his vocals, I think. And Colin Malloy is all the edge, not enough, in my opinion, not enough um, uh, of that, you know, nice singing and, and emotion in the voice. And, and here's where it crosses, and it's Fionn Regan. And, and that's something that I really got into. So mm -hmm. um, if that's any indication, um, I, I feel like I could listen to the back half of this album over and over and over again. The front half is where some of those songs kind of lied uh, that I didn't like as much like I still liked them I still enjoyed them I thought they were well written but like I said they were just kind of partial partial with the style mm -hmm. that's where they're at so I favored the back half that's always a good thing for me um so I'm thinking I like this I'm going 83 I'm going 73 and I think that this is just an album that's more my style yeah um and and I think that you pointed out some great reasons as why you didn't like it or didn't get into it as much now I do want to say that um I the more I get into this the more I keep getting into it and get mm -hmm. into it further and more listen so I wouldn't be surprised if my score actually goes up over time so it'll cool. be interesting yeah. to see in the future how we both feel I hope about it, this. yeah I hope it does and eventually we're going to do a follow-up episode where we just name a few albums that we reviewed you know months and months ago and tell you how things have changed since we reviewed it we've yeah. been really talking about this idea mm -hmm. for a long time but really seriously lately so tell us what you guys think about this album, uh, The End of History, and that idea at www.velocityeasymusic.com or youtube.com slash velocityeasymusic. Hey, how about Facebook? How about Twitter? You know you should do those things and talk with us there. The links are down there. I'm Jake. I'm Tom. And we are VIMTV Moving Music Critique Forward. There's a fox caught in that trap Late with hunter's mouth